Hello friends, this is Dr. Mona Lisa, Anatomy Faculty on the Unacademy platform and I am here to show you fetal sutures in the real fetal study. Now what I am holding is the fetal skull. So we will see the features of fetal skull. What I want to show you the difference between anterior and the posterior fontanelle. Okay. So first uh, I just want, can you see this is the fetal skull and you can see the bones are still not fully formed in the fetus. And what you can appreciate, can you appreciate this diamond shaped gap anteriorly? This is a diamond shaped gap which is seen anteriorly. Okay. So student, this diamond shaped gap which you are seeing anteriorly is at the junction of sagittal suture. The suture is this. This is the sagittal suture. Okay. This is coronal suture. This is coronal suture. This is the coronal suture. This is the sagittal suture. And this is the frontal suture in between the two side frontal bone. So the junction of frontal suture sagittal suture, coronal suture, this diamond shaped gap is the anterior fontanelle which is a large gap so only when you touch the anterior aspect of newborn babies also you can see they are quite membranous because the bone is not fine and when is the uh, whole of this uh, membranous part ossified it takes almost 18 months to 2 years it takes almost 18 months to 2 years now see here posteriorly can you appreciate this is the occipital bone and these are the two parietal bones. This is the lambdoid suture. This is the lambdoid suture. This is the sagittal suture. And this membranous part which you are seeing is the posterior fontanelle. This is posterior fontanelle. Lambda. This is bregma. Anterior fontanelle is called as bregma. Posterior fontanelle is called as lambda. And this also suffices by uh, one to two months of life after postnatal life. Now, also you can appreciate these are the prominences. Can you see these are the parietal part of the bone and you can see the bone is circumferentially growing. This is the most uh, prominent part on the parietal bone. This is uh, the frontal eminences most prominent part of the frontal bone and posteriorly this is the occipital bone okay so altogether if i ask that how many uh, fontanelles we have got in case of uh, the uh, fetal bone so see here anterior one anterior fontanelle posterior one posterior fontanelle anterolateral on either side so this is anterolateral see here the fusion is not completed here also anterolateral and see here this posteriorly fusion is not completed posteriorly also posterolateral angle so two anterolateral two posterolateral one anterior and the other is posterior fontanel how all together how many fontanels it has got the fetal skull has got altogether six fontanels thank you